And now, time for our public service announcement. This is in regards to the coronavirus. I was at the store uh, over the weekend. And I was getting some air freshener to put inside the litter box because, man, those little fluff balls are small, but they can stink up the house in short order. And it just so happens the air freshener is in the same aisle as the, you know, all-purpose cleaners and literally anything that said disinfectant was gone. The fact of the matter is it does it does not need a pandemic. It, as far as infection goes, from what I understand, the infection rate of SARS was far greater. Uh, in the United States, at least, it's proven that the flu that was the big worry prior to coronavirus is, is stated as being more deadly. Is, is right now, at least, the official record in the United States, the flu has been more deadly than coronavirus. So don't, you know, I'm, and pretty much everyone's stating just having good hygiene in, in and of itself will help you. And if you are relatively healthy and you're not one of the key demographics, the prone demographics for things like pneumonia, flu, cold, you know, you're elderly, you're young, you're immunocompromised, you should be fine. You may not even, you may have it and not even have symptoms. When you panic like this and you buy up all this stuff, you hurt others, especially those that are immunocompromised, because they actually do need disinfectant products because their immune system is not what it should be. So if they can't get it, you could be literally, by panicking and hoarding, you could literally be putting someone in... in you're, well, you are putting people in harm's way that could benefit from those items. And you could potentially wind up causing someone's death in doing so. Also, while we're talking about freaking out, this is, this combined with the, there's a crude oil price battle supposedly going on between Russia and Saudis. Between these two, the stock market today took like a 2,000 point hit. You can't do anything about the Saudis and Russia trying to duke it out because right now Russia is trying to become the, the main world power and the main world currency. It don't work very well for whoever gets it. It usually winds up biting them in the butt. Uh, but uh, that's Russia for you. The fact of the matter is, if you don't panic, the economy will be fine. From what I understand, this can only last a few days outside of the human body. Quite frankly, in the shipping of everything from China, it's going to take a lot longer, even by plane. I think it's three days is the maximum it can live out outside of your body, outside of a body. Even by plane, you're going to top that. Plane even can't get it through here and through customs in time for it to infect anyone. Plus, most of the stuff that's on the shelves now was shipped before the coronavirus actually pop started doing its thing before anyone had ever heard of it. So don't worry. There's I'm not saying don't you be cautious, don't slack on your hygiene. But right now at least you're more likely to die of the flu than you are the coronavirus, statistically speaking. 
and by freaking out, panicking, and everything else, all you're going to do is hurt the economy and run the risk of throwing us into a global recession. We don't need that. We don't want that. So let's do our thing. Try and go about life the best you can. Stay clean. Stay healthy if someone sneezes. You know, if you are not feeling well, stay at home. Use good common sense. And people will be, everyone will be, should be fine. Or the vast majority will be fine. Plain and simple to the point. Don't hoard cleaning supplies because there are people out there that actually kind of need them. I know people personally who have limited immune systems with kidney or liver problems that have had organ transplants. They need stuff like that this time of year because they don't have the immune system that the vast majority of us do. I'm sorry, but hoarding toilet paper is kind of a crappy thing to do anyway. So, instead of freaking out over nothing, putting, you know, throwing speculation into haywire and crashing the global economy, let's stay strong, stay vigilant, and let's keep the economy going. We have a great deal of potential here to do to really come through this and have a good strong economy which I think everyone would like. That's a good thing for jobs. That's a good which I'm you know about to start looking for a new one, a better one, making more money. And so yeah this is kind of self serving but the fact of the matter is no one will benefit by freaking out and crashing the world economy. No one will benefit, at least not the general Joe Schmoes like you, me, and everyone else. This is, just, like I said, just a brief, semi-brief public service announcement. Announcement: Stay clean. Don't freak out. Don't do anything rash or crazy. And remember, there are other people in the world that could use or even need certain supplies. Stay con and be so be considerate. Later.